Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to do a follow-up video on Pivx to give you guys an update of what they've been doing for the last few months. I covered this project back in December of last year, which is basically an eternity in crypto-adjusted terms, so here I am. In the spirit of transparency, I do have Pivx in my portfolio. I've personally purchased some in the past, and also some was donated to me by the community after my initial review. Please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, leave some comments on the video if you agree or disagree with me. And if you want to chat more, feel free to join me Discord. If you like my t-shirt, you can get one on my merch store. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to all the other collaborators that I've been working um, with on the Blockchain Brief. It's a newsletter that we're going to be doing monthly. I suggest you guys take a peek. The first issue is here. It's free for you guys to look at. If you're interested in signing up for the second issue, you can also do so here. I will leave the link down below. Now that, that stuff is all over with, let's move on to the good stuff. What has Pivx been up to? In December, Pivx launched Pivx Class, which is a YouTube channel dedicated to educating newcomers in the space. As you can see, there's a bunch of different videos here. Um, and then their blog, they state that when you need to explain blockchain, proof of stake, ZPIV, how to buy, how to sell, why it matters for the 85th time, you can instead point them to the Pivx Class YouTube channel for help. I personally think this is a pretty genius idea. Part of the reason I started making videos in the first place is because when I got into crypto, there was no middle path for educational videos or any content for that matter explaining crypto. It was either shill videos or content that was so tech heavy that I really couldn't understand it. So this is great that they saw a need and that they're filling it. Also in December, um, a business owner signed on to accept Pivx's payment in their restaurant. Niels Franklin, who is the owner of the restaurant located in downtown Cancun, reached out to Pivx to find out more about the project and how to start accepting it at his location. This is the article explaining the addition of the business. And then on their news site, you can see a nice little picture of the owner of the restaurant. Basically, I guess, you know, kind of celebrating the addition of Pivx to the team. Then in January, another business decided to jump on the bandwagon and start accepting Pivx. This time it was a cute donut shop in the Czech Republic called Funky Donuts. Basically they state, because we follow our own distinctive and original style, we've decided to accept possibility to pay by a few cryptos, including Pivx. Pivx transactions are, are in the blink of an eye, which make them great for payments at a shop like ours. So that's pretty cool. In February, they added some updates to their Android wallet. Um, you can now request payments or even use QR code, which will auto-generate information to the sender. They added multi-fiat currency support, and most importantly, there is also ZPIV transaction recognition, meaning that the update allows the wallet to recognize PIVX received from a ZPIV transaction and will credit recipients accordingly to the PIVX balance. Here you can see the write-up in the announcement section explaining all the additions of the things that I just went over. ZPIV recognition, mnemonic phrase, autocomplete, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, they've actually, they've had the Apple Wallet or the Apple Mobile app for PIVX um, kind of in the works for ages. They've had it done, but they're waiting for Apple to approve it. So I know that that's definitely in the works as well. It's just a matter of when Apple gets on the ball and gets their stuff together. Also in February, a well-known cryptographer named Jonathan Boodle joined the Pivx development team. Boodle's work will be focused on integrating breakthrough bulletproofs into Pivx's custom zero-coin protocol. What does that mean for Pivx? Their zero-coin proofs or transaction sizes will become a fraction of the current size and they'll be able to achieve a trustless zero-coin setup. Obviously having someone who helped write the white paper on something working with the team is a huge success, so congratulations guys. And Pivx has officially been listed as one of the currencies available for exchange on the wall of coins. If you go over here, well, gotta go up. If you go over here to coin, you'll see a bunch of stuff listed, one of them being Pivx. Wall of Coins is known in the industry as a web-based platform that allows users to purchase and sell Bitcoin and Dash with paper cash deposits via a peer-to-peer -peer system. Getting listed on any kind of exchange equals more eyeballs, equal better for crypto. So nicely done. Then in May, Pivx made history by becoming the first cryptocurrency to enable private proof of stake with their latest update to their core wallet, 3.1.0.2. Pivx uses sort of a, a subcurrency called ZPIV, which uses the zero coin protocol to achieve complete anonymity within the blockchain. In the wallet, users can choose to create or mint units of ZPIV. ZPIV comes in specific denominations only like one, five, 10, and so on. This is similar to how paper money works. This update provides users with the ability to earn staking rewards from their ZPIV by staking the ZPIV through what they've called ZPOS or Zero Coin Protocol Enabled Proof of Stake. In their recap in May, they highlighted their technical achievements, which included the ZPIV staking, which I just went over, deterministic ZPIV seed keys, updated ZPIV minting, ZPIV search, wallet GUI overhaul, 
return change to sender when minting zpiv disable auto mint feature set amount external storage backup so there's a lot of stuff that's been successfully accomplished in june brian aka snappy went to the blockchain for impact global summit held at the united nations in new york Ideally, having a blockchain conference at this event would help open up pe people's eyes to the potential use cases of blockchain technology, which is awesome for everyone. In September, Pivx announced an alliance with Numo as the first crypto to be added to this already functional P2P payments app. Pivx will also be the only default privacy transaction, meaning inside the app when you elect to send privately, you'll be using Pivx by default. And ZDEX, this one is very cool. So this is the world's first decentralized zero coin privacy exchange. Basically, it runs using Pivx masternodes and ZPIV to ensure complete privacy. If we go over to the demo exchange, you can see here that ZPIV is listed as all of the exchange options. ZPIV is the intermediary coin on the exchange. So how Binance has BNB, this is somewhat similar. This I think is absolutely huge and really creative to be able to use their, their um, part of their project involved in this. Being able to have an anonymous decentralized exchange is a very cool thing to be a part of. In December, now this is some cool news. In December, Pivx is sponsoring Chris Cyborg as she prepares to take on Amanda Nunez in the featherweight title for UFC 232 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pivx is to be featured on Cyborg's promotional material and vice versa as Cyborg trains to promote this upcoming fight. So if you see here, um, this would be the chick and this would be who she's fighting. They both look terrifying, so yeah. But either way, again, more eyes on a crypto project equals better for the crypto space. Let's take a peek at the roadmap. So if we scroll, let me close this. If we scroll down the roadmap, you can see um, lots of 100% completions of things. They've been clearly have been very, very busy. Uh, iOS wallet, so it says completed, but they're waiting for Apple. Um, bulletproofs testing, ZPIF for mobile testing. Um, they've got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, yeah, so keep your eyes on them because they've definitely done a lot of stuff so far and obviously have a lot going on in the future. I also, may I add, that I adore the fact that they have some sort of progress bars. I find them very satisfying to look at, and I also think that it gives people a little bit more actual understanding of what the project's doing and how they're progressing. So good on you guys for choosing to do that and not just choosing to have a regular roadmap. All right, guys, that's it for today's update video on Pivx. If you have any projects you'd like me to cover or content suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I thank you for watching as always, and I will see everybody soon. Hey, you. Want to see more project updates? Well, today's your lucky day because I have a whole playlist over there that you can check out. Do you like this video? Dislike this video? Either way, tell me why in the comments down below. I always do my best to answer everyone. And as always, thanks for watching my channel.